Hey guys, welcome to my page. And today I'm going to be showing you the top VSTs you can use to make Afro beats in 2022, 2023. Um, right now I'm going to be showing you like the hottest plugins that you can use to make Afro beat sounds, specific Afro beat sounds. And um, I'm going to be doing my review in no particular order. So I just means that I'm going to be showing you um, my best plugins, but not in any particular, not from like least favorite to most favorite or anything like that. I'm just going to be showing you all my plugins. Um, the plugins I like to use anyways. So I'm going to start with this one. This is Expand. Um, it's a pretty light plugin, not heavy on the CPU. And it has all the conventional sounds that you need. Um, has a whole lot of categories. And this is a really helpful VST, one of those... Um, utility VSTs. The quality of the samples are not so high. All of them are not so high, but it, you know, the strength of this VST is in, it is in its broad, um, broad range. You know, you have e-pianos. You know, you have a nice synth bass section, you know, right here. And you have a whole lot of nice sounds in it, you know. You have leads. So guys, it's a wonderful VST. You should definitely cop it if you can. That's expand. And it's a really good VST. Expand 2, actually. And next, we have this sub boom bass. Uh, it's a VST that focuses on bass sounds specifically. And uh, it's by Rob Papen, the famous guy that makes VSTs. I think he made Gladiator and Electra X and all those other VSTs. So this is a nice... Um, Basically, it has like, you know, just different bass sounds. You can change the bank. Uh, I'm going to go to another one. Right, so this is actually the place that has most of the um, bass patches. But I love this VST, it's really good. A whole lot of mad sounding bass lines here. So this is a must, must have VST. Um, this is Hive. And this is also another VST that has really nice bass sounds. I use this VST for bass sounds, like uh, lead sounds also. Um, really, really large library also, so like, you know. So that's Hive, guys. I'm trying to just rush through these sounds. I'm not going to go in-depth into the VST because it's going to take too much time and I don't want to waste your time. I just want to show you what these VSTs can do. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. So um, this is Serum. I love Serum. This is probably, this and Contact, probably my two favorite VSTs right now. I love Serum. I've always loved Serum, but I love Serum because uh, it's straight to the point. There are a whole lot of quality sounds in the default library that comes with it. But there are also a lot of Serum banks that give you specific sounds, you know. And I have a lot of Serum banks that I use as you can see, quite a number of them uh, for different styles of music. And Serum is one VST that has like high quality sounds, like it's high quality, guys. So, you know, really nice stuff, guys.
So this is serum, and I think you should cop this now. Massive, haha. <laughs> um, this is a VST I've been using for almost ten years, probably up to ten years now. Actually, like, um, I don't know if it's been that long actually, but uh, it's a it's a really good VST, and you should cop it. It has a whole lot of nice sounds, bass sounds, and all that. Um, So yeah, guys, definitely Cop Massive. It's a good VST and a really nice VST to have in your arsenal. And now we have Lounge Lizard. And this is a VST that has been really popular for a while amongst Afrobeat producers. Um, it's uh, basically an e-piano VST and it has a lot of high quality sounds and it's not so heavy. It's not heavy at all, actually, compared to other VST, VSTs, rather. So um, it's a must have if you're gonna be making um, R&B sounding Afrobeat instrumentals or just, you know, just general sounds that you need for the e-pianos and all that. It has a, you know. can mess with the effects of course and you know all that so it's a good vst and that's one of my favorites too and this is labs i like it because of this soft piano i use it on my, some of my beats when i want to make like an emotional sounding beat i use labs but you know labs comes with it's made by spitfire audio and it comes with a whole bunch of um additional sounds that you can cop you know, you can just download them directly to your PC um, and use them through the VST. Um, so you're going to need an internet connection to download the additional files. You feel me? I'm trying to open that up, but I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to mute, um, minimize that real quick. Yeah, it's still loading. Um, so I'm going to move on. So Purity, haha, this is like Afrobeat VST's Hall of Fame. <laughs> Like, niggas have been using VSTs, Purity particularly, like, Afrobeat producers have been using Purity since, like, Afrobeat producers started producing on um, computers, and, like, this is a must-have VST. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just really powerful, really light VST, has amazing sounds, has some of the some sounds that are in like some of the biggest Afrobeat records. Like this is Purity. I'm not even gonna go through the sounds, but guys, Purity is a must-have VST for Afrobeat producers. Then of course I have Hypersonic 2. Um, Hypersonic 2 is a really powerful VST. A lot of bass sounds used in Ama Piano and using Afrobeats. Um, so it's a really good VST too. Um, has a broad instrument range, acoustic pianos. Um, people are not usually fans of like pianos from Hypersonic. I mean, a couple of people I've met, but I like Hypersonic because of the other sounds actually. Yeah, good. The Hypersonic has a lot of sounds that are good for layering. And it also has a lot of really nice synth bases. So that's why I like Hypersonic. And this is Hypersonic 2 actually, two actually, you know. And, you know, the final instrument is Contact. And, you know, Contact is like a super VST. Arguably, Contact is like the best VST in the world. Like for music production, like no cap. This gives you specific libraries that were recorded live and it sounds amazing guys and it has like so many libraries uncountable libraries 
And I use contact in every single production session, every single production session. So that's how important contact is. And guys, I've just shown you all my VSTs, like the VSTs I use for my production. Like these are the VSTs I'm using like every single day. You can cop them and use them in your own productions to make beats that sound like mine or to just do your thing. <laughs> so um, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned a couple of stuff. And I hope you have some ideas of what VSTs you can cop to improve your Afrobeats game. So guys, um, keep it locked. Subscribe. Turn on the notifications bell if you haven't done that already. And I'll be dropping more stuff for you guys. So till we meet again, guys, peace.